when I was working for Charlie Munger and I'm running nine different uh, divisions of a company and just out of control, I, mean, I was out of control. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta learn some time management. And some person said to me, oh yeah, I took some of this kind of training when I worked for GE years ago. It's good to see it resurface. And I'm like, I wish I knew there was that kind of training when I, you know what I mean? I, all this stuff is from trial and error. This is from being in the trenches as a business owner or business runner and just having to figure this stuff out. So I'm at desperation, I go to this time management uh, seminar and they say, here's these forms and what we want you to do is over the next three months we want you to track your time so you can figure out where you're wasting it. And I'm thinking, if I had time to do that, I wouldn't need time management. So, you know, we're gonna shortcut that process for you because good time management shouldn't take a lot of time. Does that make sense? Okay, great. So this program here is five minutes per day, but it's discipline all day. It requires five minutes at the beginning of your day, and then it's discipline all day. So do you have the discipline to stick with the program until it becomes habitual, because that's what will make it habitual. And I have some people on my staff that it took two years to train them to operate like I'm going to be showing you. But now every key executive in my staff operates the way I'm going to be showing you. So we have the, remember that best-selling book, The One Minute Manager? Okay. Well, most of us are the minute-by-minute -minute manager or the got-a-minute manager. What the got-a-minute manager is that anybody can go to anybody anytime for any reason and say, got a minute, and a got-a-minute meeting will break out in the organization. Well-run organizations do not have got-a-minutes. Uh, most managers are minute-by-minute -minute managers. They do not manage their time, nor do they insist on the same from staff. Because if your staff can come and interrupt you anytime they want, then you don't insist on discipline for them or yourself either. I can tell you nobody speaks to me without an appointment. Not one person. The best people, the highest level of executives, Tony doesn't get to speak to me without an appointment. Okay? Same with him, you can imagine, right? Busy guy. Uh, thus, most managers are in a reactive mode all day long. These managers have to work a lot of extra hours. If you just react all the time, you're going to work way harder than if you plan. So the got a minute manager, you want to be accessible for all those great people, but you'll help them much more if you force them and you to plan your meetings rather than have them on the fly. So in a housekeeping example, okay, how many people are responsible for the housekeeping of their house? Like either you're single or you're the primary housekeeper in your home, right? So it's Saturday and you have to clean the house and you can just meander through that process and it will take eight hours, let's say, to clean it. But if you sat down for 10 minutes and planned it, it'll take three hours. Does that make sense? What am I going to do first? What am I going to do second? What am I going to do third? So even house cleaning can be dramatically improved and made much more productive if you will plan it. So reactive traits, if a manager is always accessible and open to interruption, that is a reactive trait. Okay? It doesn't force anyone to be well organized. And again, remember, I learned this stuff the hard way because I was out of control. That's why I learned all this stuff. No formal information sharing or growth structure, few formalized meetings, everything's done on the fly. Uh, anyone can interrupt anyone else for any reason, any time, and you have to recreate the wheel. So you have few formalized policies and procedures, and I've worked with companies where they had problems for 10 years that we solved in one workshop. Like, for 10 years, people were messing with it. The manager, the owner of the company didn't know how to solve it. So we had, he had 18 people. We sat in a room. We put the problem on the whiteboard. I asked for some suggestions. And in one hour, we solved the problem to his satisfaction. He was thrilled, and the problem went away. He had it for 10 years. He had this problem. Just, you know, reacting to the business, not taking the time to stop and work on the business. So when meetings are held, there are no assignments. No goals, no deadlines or tasks. Those are bad meetings, okay? The minute-by-minute -minute manager will function at about 25% of the productivity that they could possibly function at. So it'd be great to get four times more done in your day, wouldn't it? Yeah. How many people are up for that? Say aye. Aye. Okay.